What's going on, smart people? Back in the bunker, back in Flammable Math's basement where I belong. Uh, in the last video, I talked about how I just finished taking my physics comprehensive exam, which was a graduate level exam on, well, really it was three tests on quantum mechanics, stat mech and classical mechanics, and electromagnetic theory. And I made some predictions about how I thought I did. I talked about how I studied. I said that once I found out my results, I would make a video on it, you know, for better or for worse. And today I I got my results in. And uh Hell yeah. So I got the unconditional pass. The conditional pass would mean I still pass, but I have a lot of explaining to do on why I missed such and such throughout the exam. The unconditional pass means that I scored above a certain percentage, so overall it was good. And then I got the additional confirmation that just all of the four subjects I, I performed well in. So it wasn't it wasn't what I worried about before, where it was scoring above a percentage and that just qualifying me for the unconditional, even though I had a major weak point in E and M. Apparently I still did really well with E and M. Um, the reason I thought I did poorly to begin with with E and M was because there were two of the four questions that I knew I did I answered them correctly. And then there were other two very similar kinds of questions that had to do with electromagnetic radiation, which is just, those aren't kinds of problems that I solve very frequently. Like, uh, one was a particle moving towards a nucleus and it was decelerating and it was giving off radiation and it was like, you know, solve for the equations of motion more, more or less. I was like, Ugh, I'm going to try. And, you know, things like that where I wasn't sure if I did it right, but I ended up more or less doing it right. And I knew that I made some stupid mistakes here or there, but in the end, I think I demonstrated that I knew what I was doing. So that's good. So I got the unconditional pass. No more written tests of grad school, hopefully for the rest of my life. Also, let this be an example of the physics GRE not telling you shit about how someone will perform in grad school. Just throwing that out there. Now, regardless of the level of passing that you have, uh, you still have to do the oral part of the comprehensive. But since I got unconditional, it should be a lot more chill. I just have to put a committee together. I'll talk about my research. And instances where people are forced to sit down and listen to you talk about your research are actually a little few and far between. So I'm excited for that, actually. I don't really have much else to talk about besides that. I just wanted to give the good news. The fact that some people are interested in how a random guy on the internet did on an exam blows my mind, but I really appreciate the support. Our semester is just kicking off. I am not taking any classes. I'm just TAing and doing research. It's gonna, I think it's gonna be a nice semester. But let me know in the comment section how yours is going. And I'll see you guys there. Oh yeah, I forgot that someone yelled at me last time I didn't show the cat, so, you know. Here's a cat.